Hi friends, how's it going today? Chill Space here. I kind of just wanted to do a sit down, chill, just a little talk with you for a moment. This isn't gonna be like a huge like announcement or anything. It's just something I wanna talk about and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna call this video, but essentially I want to specify and kind of narrow in and focus on the manga that I will be buying from here on out, at least until I get to that point. And what I mean by that is I have a ton of series on my shelves. Well, not nearly as many as some, but for me, it's a lot. And I want to focus on finishing series before I find and start new ones. I have a list in my little notebook that I keep for my videos full of manga series that I want to start or buy or just try out. And uh, if I keep doing that, I will have a million different series of the first like four or five volumes, but I will never complete anything. So I think what I'm essentially thinking of trying to start doing, and I'm trying to make this video to hold myself accountable for it, is to finish every series that's on my shelf before I start a new one. And when I say that, it, it seems so easy just thinking about it, but honestly, I think it's gonna be really tough when I go out shopping because I get really excited about a new series and you never know when something's gonna go out of print or when it's just gonna be hard to find. Um, so there might be a couple of exceptions for this, but I'm gonna try to be really, really serious about finishing what I currently own because a lot of the stuff I have is really old and uh, I need to either buy all of the rest of them pre-owned and figure out if that's affordable for me or I need to sell the series because I've just got like Ronma Half down here. I haven't completed that series yet and I want to because I am, Rumiko Takahashi is so far my favorite mangaka. So I wanna own a lot of their series and uh, that's one of them that I used to really enjoy as a kid. And I think I really do want to own the entire series and the singles. Essentially this video, I just want you guys to understand my future content, if it's a haul or anything, which I don't do a ton of hauls, except for like in my vlogs. I want you guys to understand that I'm going to be doing a lot of used manga and which that's kind of normal for me. This isn't really new information other than trying to motivate myself to focus in on these series. Cause if I even went through, I'll probably put it like on the screen, how many series I have that are complete and then how many series I have started that are incomplete. And that includes series that um, are only completed like the entire manga has been published. I just haven't picked all of them up yet. I'm not necessarily going to count new releases, things that are continuing to be published and are ongoing series. I think that that shouldn't really count because, you know, fresh content, I can continue to buy them until I finish the series. And actually that's a little bit more encouraged, honestly, because then I am buying every volume that's coming out until I eventually either decide to give it up or just finish it off. I just, there's so many on here that I want to read and I'm really, really excited to know how they end and trying to avoid spoilers on MangaTube, but it's so hard. Like there've been a couple of MangaTubers that I watch that they review the types of manga that I like to read. And it's really hard for me to watch some of their content because they'll be talking about a series later on and I can't, I'll like mute the video until I see them put that book down because I don't want to be spoiled. And I have had some things spoiled, so that's a little upsetting. But I can't really blame them for that because most people have already finished the series or they're that far into it. I don't know. I I want to read what's on my shelves and I want to I want to narrow down what I'm buying so that when I do finish all of these series, I can then start new ones and not feel guilty about it. Um, I don't want to have so many ongoing ones that I have no idea what's going on when I eventually do buy the next volume. That's another part of this is I've got some manga in here that I have one or two volumes of, and when I do eventually buy the third or fourth volume, I'm not gonna have a clue what's happening, so I'm gonna have to reread it. And I don't want that to be the case every single time that I buy a new volume that I have to reread the series. I would rather read them as I go or read them all in one. I prefer that method, that way I don't forget too much whenever I do pick up the next one. This is like a pep talk for myself. 
I apologize if you don't like this kind of content, but I love manga and I want to actually enjoy my collection instead of feeling like I'm not using it to its fullest potential, if that makes sense. And so, like I did complete Chobits not too long ago. I actually bought the volumes I was missing. My cat is really loud, yawning. But uh, I finished that one. I've finished quite a few that I never thought I would finish and I got some yeah, like I finished Arissa, I finished Kiss Him Not Me, and also I'm not going to include in this little challenge for myself, I'm not going to include series that I buy in full. Like if there's like a four or five volume series and I buy it all together like on a listing, that doesn't count because I buy the whole thing. I, that's free game, I can still do that. But I want to challenge myself to not pick up new ones that I can't buy older stuff to finish my collection because I have a few websites that I use to buy used manga that tend to have really good stock and really good prices. So there's no reason, all right, Chelsea, I'm speaking to you in the future. There is no reason that I or you should be not finishing these series whatsoever. There is no excuse for you. You are you are just buying into the consumerism of MangaTube, which is fine. I don't judge people for that because you're feeding the industry and I love the industry. You have got to focus, finish your series, and you're gonna love them. You know you are. You're gonna enjoy rereading them again. And then, only then, can you move on to new stuff, okay? Don't break the rules. <laughs> this is so silly, but I've just been thinking about it so hard and it's overwhelming to me to see how many series that I've started and just not kept going because I, I get excited and I see something at the store. If you want to join me in this challenge, feel free to do so because I think that it is entirely necessary that we do finish the series that we're passionate about. And if you're not that passionate about it or if you do pick up the next volume and you're like, I actually don't really like this, then dump the series. Completely get rid of it or donate it or sell it and start something else. Like just stop sitting on manga that are incomplete unless you're the kind of person like I watch cake tins who they buy volumes as they find them super 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 cheap and they have no problem with having rooms full of bookshelves that is totally that is totally valid <laughs> if you like getting your manga for two dollars a piece that is awesome I am very very excited for you and that's very smart financially but I personally like to read an entire series and then be done with it until I want to reread it again. I don't like to sit there and have like volume 1, volume 12, volume 6, volume 35 of a series and only get them as I get them. That, that would drive me nuts not being able to read my manga. And there's even a couple of series on my shelves right now. I have three series on my unread TBR shelf of manga. I have Demon Slayer, Yu Hakusho, and Oku, and I don't want to read any of them until I get all of them because I know they're going to be a series that I binge. I'm, I just know it, especially Yu Hakusho. That is a fan favorite, like, that is like my like top favorite anime for now at least, and I know once I start reading it, I'm going to not stop until I finish because that's how I was with the anime, and it is just... I've only got six volumes of it, and then Demon Slayer, I just ordered volume six, and then Oku, I have one through four. So there's just so many series like that that I want to own the whole thing before I read it. And uh, yeah, I just, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I have to do this. Hold me accountable. If you see me hauling some shit that I bought that I shouldn't have, you come after me in them comments because <laughs> I'm giving you permission to come after me because I want to do this. This is, this is not good for my mental health, okay? That's, that's mainly it, is it just stresses me out seeing all of these two, three volume things in my shelves that I haven't completed. Um, but yeah, that's essentially what this is. I hope that um, maybe you will join me in the search to complete our shelves, I guess. Yeah, complete your shelves, like complete yourselves. Yeah, that, that's what we're doing here. This is me. I'm gonna make this a series and I'll have to check in with you and tell you what I've done. Oh, yes, I'm gonna check in with you later and tell you what I've done, what I have faltered on, hold myself accountable, and just brag about myself and what I've gotten done, yes. Like I said, I'm gonna put on the screen how many completed series I have right now and how many incomplete but finished series I have now. So that way we have a fair game. I'm not counting the ones that aren't complete yet. So yeah. Um, next time that better be better. 
unless some crazy financial situation happens, which you know, money is always a factor in how much manga I buy. So I'm not going to go past my, I guess, budget. So um, that's gonna have a factor in these numbers, but I'm not allowed to buy new ones. And if I do, there will be consequences. I don't know what those consequences are. If you have any requests or any ideas for the consequences, let me know, because uh, I do want to hold myself accountable. So yeah, that's the challenge. Anyways, I hope you guys sort of enjoyed this video. I kind of went all over the place. Um, it is a Friday and I'm excited for the weekend and I hope you guys are too having a fantastic weekend. I think I'm going to upload this today, the day I'm filming it so that, uh, it just goes up and I can start on this journey. Yes. Happy 4th of July. If you're celebrating in the U S and, um, my husband's birthday is tomorrow and I'm very excited to celebrate with him. Um, I think we're going out sometime next week because we do have to do things tomorrow. So we're not gonna be able to celebrate his actual birthday tomorrow. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic weekend and uh, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't yet and like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!